Hey everyone, this is Rathakos. This is week one of us covering the games entered into the 2021 Solitaire Print and Play Game Design Contest currently hosted on Board Game Geek. This week we will be covering the following games. One player will be covering Dekula. Solo McLachlan, aka Flying Solo Games, will be presenting her own intro video. Vizago Kalava will be playing 18 Right. Patience Show will be playing Tilting at Windmills. And I will be bringing you Old Town Road. Links to all these videos and my playlist will be in this video's description. All right, that should be all. Have fun watching me play Old Town Road, partner. I'll see you there. Hey everyone, this is Rathagos and welcome to today's video of the 2021 Solitaire PNP contest hosted by Boardgame Geek. And today I will play a small little game that is called Old Town Road. Pretty interesting game that I will play through today so you get an idea of how this works. And to bring you the best experience I possibly can with this playthrough, I will be ditching all the black and white cards I was playing this in with initially. And instead, I printed out all the color cards that just came out when I rec when recording this video. I think just yesterday, given the time I'm recording the video now in advance. All right, I will just briefly explain how this works, but otherwise I will just play through the game and then you will see how this works. So um, we have a deck of cards, a hand of cards here. And this game is an in-hand solitaire card game similar a little bit to palm island in case you know that if not i have a video on my channel in case you want to check that out and what we do here is we have outlaws that can fight each other and also we have banks we can rob and it is our goal to put as many cards in the right order at the back of the deck so they can grant us specific points later on i will just show you how to set up the game and then i will just start playing and we will see how that works so first of all we just shuffle the cards well And then we take the old town card and put it with the image face up. Then we draw six cards and we put them in our hand. And then we hold the game like this in one hand. You can also put down the stack in case it's too much with like the card backs and fronts and the sleeves. They are pretty thick, so I'm gonna try to hold them in my hand, but it's not gonna be extremely easy. All right, so, and now we see we have here, we have five outlaws these cowboys here and also we have one bank here and what we are trying to do we are trying to get specific poker hands to the back of the deck so that means we need to have specific poker hands that consist of three cards in specific orders in the back so what we can have is two of the same number and a third card any card that would be a pair so for example um oh, i can't do it right now but let's say i had like a two and another two here then i could put the two in the back and the other two also then i would have a pair plus an additional card and that would give me one point at the end of the game also three of the same suit would give me a two points a straight that means three numbers in, in a sequence so for example the two the three and the four would give me three points three of a kind so three fours for example would give me four points and a straight flush that's three numbers um, in sequence of the same suit which is quite hard to get and that would give me five points also i will get points for wanted signs i have in the active area and also poker chips and um, poker chips will double the hand i have and also money bags up here, for example, or down here, will give me also give me extra points when they're in the active area. The active area is the area here to the left. If I do specific things, I can turn cards around, and then they can often receive spe specific specific symbols that give me even more points. So let's just start playing the game. So um, what I can you see, each outlaw has a range, for example, one and a target list. So this outlaw, for example, could shoot another outlaw that is one space, one card away and has either a heart or spades. But that's not possible because range one, there's only the bank over here. So this outlaw cannot shoot anyone. If you shoot someone, this card then goes to the back and that's how you get cards to the back. So um, looking at this, I'm not quite sure. I could also rob the bank. You can rob a bank if the two outlaws adjacent to it have at least a seven counted together, added together. So here's six, so it's not possible at the moment. And if the outlaws have a seven exactly, then you can turn around that bank card and get more money backs, 
which is really nice. So what I'm going to do now, this is a seven, there's a five and a two. So if I can get that outlaw gone here, then I could rob the bank, which isn't too bad. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'll try to get that four out of here. But if I do that, then I won't be able to do any sequencing here. But I really want to get that bank out of here, I think, because I can get that seven. So what I'm going to do is I will get that one shot here if possible. So can I do that? Let's see. So we see that one has a range of one, but it needs a heart or, or clubs, which that doesn't have. And also here, three to five. The range doesn't work because this one is two away and that one doesn't work either. So I can't get that out of here, that one. But there's also a third option. If I don't want to shoot an outlaw and if I also don't want to roll a bank, I can also take a card, put it face down and put it to the back of the deck. Then it doesn't count at the end of the game, but it's so I can, but I can get it out of the game. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that outlaw, turn it around and put it just in the back. All right. And then we draw a new card. And if there's no symbol at the bottom here, then I have to put it here at the left. Okay, so now I'm gonna rob that bank. So the five and the two. Since these two are robbing the bank, I will turn them around. So now they are wanted and they give me more points at the end of the game. And that one is wanted also. And I have exactly seven here. So I can take that card and also turn it around when I put it in the back. So I have one money bag more, which really isn't bad. All right, and then we take the next card. This one doesn't have a symbol either. So to the very left. All right, so we don't have any banks. We only have outlaws. So let's see what we can do. So we could do an ace, two, three. That would be um, that would be a straight. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, that's probably the best thing we can do. So let's see if we can do that. The ace, can we get that one gone here? Um, we can with that one. Range one and diamonds. So this one is going to shoot that guy here or that gal, but, uh, so to speak. We will put that in the back. And since this guy shot someone, we will turn him over so he is wanted also and these wanted signs give us more points at the end don't forget about that all right so we have one of these way signs here like the crossroad signpost and this means i can add it to the left or to the right um and i think i will add it i don't really know but i will add it to the mm, to the right i suppose i think it doesn't really matter okay so that was an ace we can always look at the cards you put in the back so that was an ace now we need a two so um we can get that one here with that one so you see range one and also the the clubs there. So he is already turned around. So wanted, so we won't turn him around again. And this guy goes to the back. All right, that works out quite well. Next card to the left. So, and now we needed three in the back. So let's take that guy. So we have that one gone. Or we could also, no, that's the only one we can take. So this guy range one and diamond that works. So this one to the back and this guy is already wanted. So we won't turn him around further. All right, next card to the left. All right, so now we have a straight in the, we have a straight in the back there. That's gonna give us three points. So what can we do now? Well, we only, we can pretty much do only pairs. So we can kill this guy there and this guy, hmm. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. So this guy is gonna kill th that guy now, range one and heart, that works. So this guy goes to the back. We turn this guy around. He's now an outlaw, which is good. We have a bank that we can try to rob later on. And then we will take this guy and kill that guy. So um, that then we have should have a pair, right? So we have a pair in the back. We need to turn him around because he shot someone. And take the next card, which is an ace. That's not going to help us with the bank. And now we also need a different card, another card, so that pair actually counts in the back and which card doesn't help us too much like we can get rid of rid of maybe one of the fives maybe well we could can i get rid of the one out uh, of the ace i can't no that's bad because i would like to get rid of that one but let's get rid of anything that i don't really need let's get rid of the two over here i would say so this um he is gonna kill that guy that works one range and hearts so it goes to the back. We don't turn him around because he already is wanted. Next card is a six. Okay. Hmm. So we could get another pair at least. Why don't we try to get that five pair here? Because then we would have six and ace, which would equal seven exactly. Can we do that? 
he can kill that guy and also that. Yeah, okay, he can kill both. So he's gonna kill that guy first. Oh no, he can't. Oh no, that's spades. That, that's spades. Oh, hmm. Well, ah, that is bad. We can get rid of this guy at least, I think. Yeah, we can get rid of that one. But how do we get that guy? Not at all. Hmm. What we could try to do is we could get rid of that card and then just hope that we can get a card to the le to the right here. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's get rid of that one first and see how that works. So already won it. So let's put that guy in the back then and draw a card. Let's hope we get one with a crossroad signpost. No, we don't. So we put a five in the back. Hmm. What we could try to do is get rid of that one here, because then we would have a six, and then with the seven we would have another straight. But can we get rid of that one? Um, this one cannot get rid of that one, and that one neither. No. You know what? Then let's just leave it. Let's just take the seven here. Let's take the bank and then go down maybe six and five so we have another straight because we can go in the reverse direction too if we want to. So we get rob that bank with these two. So both are wanted. And he already is wanted. And then that's exactly seven. So we can also turn around the bank, put it in the bag, and then take another card, which is another bank. Okay. Okay, so now we have a seven in the back. He can kill that guy, but we need to get rid of a six first. So can you get rid of that six here? No, we can't. Man, we are really unlucky. We can't do anything. We can't get the seven either. So we're not able to get any able to get any cards really. What we could do is just take a card and put it in the back. Like which one don't we want? Well, this one is really annoying me all the time. So let's put that in the back. And then we, oh, that was wrong. Then we turn over another card. Five. Okay. So we have a seven in the back. We can get that guy killed. And here is a five, which we cannot get killed. Hmm. Yeah, we are not really able to do anything. But let's get that six killed first. What we could also do is rob that bank. We don't have a seven, but then we would have two sevens in the back. That would give us a pair. Let's do that. So these two are going to rob that bank. So they are both wanted and that guy too. And we rob the bank, but we don't turn it around. So we have two sevens in the back and now we need any card to finish that, to finish that pair. So let's see, let's get something out of here that we don't need something that we really don't want. Can we get anything there? Um, I suggest maybe that ace. Can we get that? Yes, we can. So he or she, no, he can kill that ace guy, I think, right? So we will put that in the back. So we now we have our pair in the back. It's only one point, but better than nothing. And that four we will put to the right here. Exactly. All right, cool. So, and now let's try to get the six, five, four, four, five, six, something like that. So that he can kill that one here. He can kill that one because, no, three to five. It's the range three to five. So one, two, three. Yeah, so he range three to five, that works with the three and also somebody who's wanted and that guy is wanted. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. With that one, I'm gonna snipe that guy over here. That should work. I think that should work the way I'm trying to do it. So sniped, we turn that one around and then we get another card. That was a four. So now we need a five. We can get that card, um, but can we, and we can then get that card. Okay, so let's do that. That should now work. So. Um, here that's a five. So this person can shoot that one with a range of two to three that works and also a five that works too. So this one is then wanted and the five goes to the back. Then we get another card. So this one, I can either put it to the left because there's a train or I can put it face down in the middle of the deck. 
but I'm gonna put it to the left. All right, like that. So we have now a four and a five in the back. Now we need a six. So this person here, two to three, that works over there and also the six. So this one is already wanted, but we put the six in the back. Then we get a new card and we are closing into the end of the game. And that too, where will we put that? I don't really know, but let's put it two, three. Let's put it on the left, at the left here, like this. All right, so what can we do? We, we can have more straights if we want to. So that wouldn't be too bad. And um, we can kill that guy with this one here. And then the five we could kill with, hmm, with that one. No, we can't. We should get rid of that four in the middle maybe, right? Can we do that? Yeah, with that one here. Right, so this one is gonna kill this person over here. So that's a four. Then we also get a new one here. Then we wanna get rid of that five here. Mm, this one can be killed by, by who? Oh, by no one. I made a little mistake, I think. But you can, maybe you can also take the three here. Um, three to five, but it's not, but he's not wanted. So we can't kill with that one. Hmm, give me a second. That one. That one can kill that person over there. So that definitely works, but then we can't get that one killed. But let's see what else we draw later on. So, and this one needs to be turned around. Then we can get a new card here, which we will put to the left, like this. And now we need a two. We need to get this one gone here, but there is, I think, no way to do it at the moment. That's a little problem. Well, is there any card that we don't really want? Well, actually, I think I'm gonna take this card, turn it around for a getaway, and then we can turn over a new card. Yeah, we can't get that two there. Actually, this person can now kill that one. So we have a two in the back. So this one is wanted, and that one goes to the back. Then we draw another card, another ace, sure, why not? Um, so can we get that six? We can, yes, we can. This person could kill the six. The five could be killed by that one and the four could then not be killed. But other than we still have a little bit of time. So let's get the six here first. So this person, will be turned around and get that six over here. And yeah, one of the last cards here. That's another bank. Then we wanna get that five gone. That's possible with that one. So that one is already wanted. So put that to the back. And the last card I think is another bank. No, it's not. We can put that to the right or to the left, which is good. We put it to the right because then this person can kill that one. That's perfect. Like this and to the back. And you see that we can't draw any cards now because we're now at the old town here, but we can still um, do as many events as we want to before we end the game. So let's do that. So now maybe we can get the two aces in the back. This guy can be killed by anyone, by this one for sure. And this one can be killed by that one. So first one, this one, this one is gonna kill that one here. It's already turned around and then, no, wait, wait, oh, wait, that doesn't work because this one can only kill that one this way. Hmm, that's gonna be a little bit tough, to be honest. That is gonna be a little bit tough. I don't think we can to get both aces out of here. Okay, let's do it differently first. Let's to take that one to kill that guy over here. Um, And then we, hmm, yeah, we can't really, finish any of that but we can still get these bonus points here so let's try that then so I will do a getaway and turn that card around and then this guy can get that one over here so we can get that one to the back too and that's pretty much it the bank cannot be robbed anymore this guy cannot be killed so that's it we will just take these cards and turn them around like this all right and now you see we went through the entire stack of cards and now we have the old town, which we will turn face up here. And then you see all the points we receive. And now we go through the cards. Everything that's 
turned this way, like face down, doesn't count. So we can just skip those. So let's see. We have se seven ace. Here, ace two, three. That's our first poker hand. And also we get these cards here. So let me get something to write. All right. So and then let's now write down all our points. So each money bag scores two bonus points. So we get four points right there. Then we have that's um, a straight, that's three points times two because the poker chip is seven, six points, I mean. And then one more point for the one at sign. So that's seven points. Then let's continue. Well, let's do it like at the top here, like this. Three, three, so that's a pair with the two together. With the two, that's a pair, which gives us one point times two plus one. So that's three points. The five, that's no poker hand at all. The seven, neither. Seven, so we have, oh, we have a pair here. So we have another pair, that is one point times two, that's two points. Three, five, seven, nine points. Then we have an ace and a four, a five and a six, okay. So the ace is not no poker hand at all, but it gives us just one point. And then we have another straight here, which is another three points. So that's three points times two, that's six, seven, eight, nine points again. Then four, three, that one is just skipped and two. So that's another poker hand here, that's another straight. So that is three points again, no bonus points. And then we will continue down here. Six, five, four, so that's another straight, three points, times two, that's six points. Double poker chips just count as one. Um, eight, nine, and 10 points here. Then the ace and another ace, but no card that lets us count that pair because we would need a third card, which we don't have, but we get at least three bonus points here. So, and um, now I will count all of that together. So, if I didn't miscalculate, that should be 49 points. Otherwise, when I edit this video, I will correct that and write it down here, but it should be 49 points, um, which is okay. I think that's one of my better scores, but it's still not great. So you can, you can really get something in the 50s, 60s, at least probably even more. Um, and it is possible that the rules will still be changed, that you have a win condition. The win condition is to have all of these poker hands, because if you have all five, five kinds of these poker hands, you currently get 10 points. Maybe it is gonna be the prerequisite to win at all. If that's the case, then I wouldn't have won now, um, because I already or only had pairs and straights. But just to demonstrate how this game works, that is Old Town Road, currently entered into the 2021 Solitaire PNP contest on Board Game Geek. All right, if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun um, seeing this playthrough. And why don't you drop by my channel and look at my other videos. Maybe you'll find a few other videos you like. All right, then thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, take care.